All right, my coach, Sandra Graves, asked me to do some homework. It says, if this was your last year to live, what would you do? And I answered, I would make one video for the spouse telling her that I forgive her and that I love her. I did that. In this video, I will make this video for my daughter telling her that I do forgive her for not wanting to spend time with me and that I do love her. All right, daughter. Ah, boy, oh boy, what can I tell you, daughter? Love to me is spelled time and attention. If you love me, you spend time with me. If you love me, when you're talking with me, you look at me or you, you communicate that you're listening. Um, it's not about a lecture, it's about communication. Communication is about understanding what the other person wants to tell you. And good communication you tell something, they understand it, and they tell you something. You feed each other. As one uh, tutor teacher told me for Lawbuck Literacy in Miami, he said, Oh, you're very alive this morning, Daniel. That's great. We will feed off each other. We will feed off each other energy. We will energize the room. Or as uh, one Tai Chi te uh, classmate of mine told me, he was 40, I was 20. Or I was actually, yes, I was about 20. He said, take us to the gold medal, Daniel. Oh, actually he said, take us to the gold, but he meant gold medal like in the Olympics. Because I was feeling just great that Saturday morning most likely mm. so what do you want from a dad daughter you want uh, Tony Robbins says that there are three ways to express love one you tell the person I love you two you hug the person you kiss the person you uh, express yourself not with me but with when you're later on when you have a boyfriend uh, sexually you give each other you give each other love all right why did God invent sex if it's wrong you know all right he gave us the commandment go forth and multiply something like that now, I'm not saying be responsible and have a thousand children I'm saying do what you supposed to do while you're here on earth all right the third way to express love besides telling them and hugging them and kissing them is to buy them something have I ever bought something for people yes of course I had a girlfriend I paid for one of her surgeries because her ex-husband had crashed the car and her face had gone through the windshield she had scars and she had glass and when she lived with me we found out because I I put my finger over her nose and we found out that she couldn't breathe she could only breathe from one side and so instantly uh, she went back to Panama and had her nose uh, fixed and I was very happy because she had many problems endometriosis was another one and I do have a question for her uh, however that's another topic like uh, will she forgive me I think she'll forgive me she's a Christian she, we, we were very nice persons but we had a bunch of problems basically uh, if you're a daughter, if you're listening or other young ladies, don't leave your man alone for seven months. All right?
he's gonna find another girlfriend if he's young and handsome and and working uh, so that's what happened do I love you daughter how do I show you love well one I, I started to teach you Tai Chi Chuan so that you could defend yourself however you don't want to take it to the next level you know your basics and that's about as far as you think you want to go with it and I wanted so much more for you uh, how do I show love well I have my opinion I want to homeschool you not to keep you away from everybody yes to keep you safe from those schools where they have shootings and stuff that's how I show you I love you however I do want you to learn money skills and now is the time not when you're 18 years old not when you're 13 14 uh, 15 16 not when you're 25 it's now uh, well, well you're up there already but uh, in numbers you're up there already in age but the thing is I met through the books and videos I read about a man in Japan that he was 14 years old maybe he was 16 when he began to work with Toyota Corporation and that's the only job he's had and he was very grateful that he was skilled in something like making cars uh, even the Bible talks about the craftsman or craftswoman you must daughter of mine learn a money skill you say I'm gonna be a doctor well fine it's great to be ambitious however there are many things that can go wrong in life for instance you don't have the problem of cooking you like to cook you know how to do it when I went to college I was afraid to talk to girls I was afraid of uh, cooking I didn't know how to cook I was in shock when my two Japanese uh, well they lived in the hallway uh, the next next door room or something and when I saw them cooking rice I was in shock because I had never seen men cooking uh, to your equivalent uh, at 17 18 I was maybe five years old all right mentally um, what can I tell you daughter if I recommend books like the diary of Anne Frank I'm not the only one recommending it a thousand people will recommend that book however your grandmother and I were both talking about it when we saw the movie and then she grandma got you the book and so we're recommending that book and we have other books that I'd like to recommend to you I have other software here on this computer that I want to recommend to you however you want to spend zero time with Daniel so I could take that as an offense you don't want to practice Tai Chi you don't want to spend time with me well then I could say go do what you want to do however I have a responsibility to ask you to read the Bible I was supposed to teach you something right and I didn't start reading the Bible daughter until I was I remember looking at the Bible for kids when I was little but it had no it wasn't black and white by the way it had no it was a weak punch it, it had no I didn't know what it was about and, uh, you know growing up Catholic is about back then was about not reading the Bible it was about knowing a bunch of songs and a bunch of rituals and things like that but you don't know 
um, you don't know who wrote the Bible, what its purpose is. It's, it's like a love letter, all right? It's a love letter from written by men that God, you see, God uses people. Uh, why has God brought your mother's friend recently uh, to come visit us? Well, she came one time, and why, why, why has she brought that person over and over again to go to restaurants with you? Uh, what is the purpose of that friendship? Why has God brought that into your life at this moment in time? Um, so, the best advice I can give you, daughter, I wouldn't give you any if I didn't care about you. Uh, some people, they're not going to learn... That they choose not to learn to defend themselves. And when that punch comes for your nose, you need to know how to defend yourself. Don't wait for someone to punch your nose. All right? A relative of mine and myself, we've had ugly childhoods. Uh, several of us because it's not just in this country in other countries some children have had very rough childhoods as far as with bullies at school and, and uh, uh, some bullies they have confidence and they know how to fight others they get somebody else to fight you the best advice I can tell you is don't deal with kids I went to the high school. There are animals over there. Yes, there were two saints. Sir, may, may we go get some water? Well, they called me, sir, and they, they asked so politely. I said, yes, ladies, go ahead. I was like in shock. What are you doing here? You know? You're dressed appropriately, whereas, you know, the other girls, they're showing their, they're wearing very tight sweatsuits and their breasts are uh, and, and that's the math tutor girl part of the Eagles Club I'm like you're dressed like that and you're it's horrible I mean, if you want men to pay you attention, like I've seen a doctor, I don't know if she's a doctor, but this girl talks about psychology. And in her videos, well, in, in that particular one, she's got a very short skirt. So she's got a business suit with a short skirt. I mean, that just has uh, come have sex with me uh, written all over it. You know, it, uh, I mean, as a man, that's what I say. Another one is selling a product and she's she's got her bra all the way up to here and so on uh, that one to me says I mean I can't even pay attention to what her product is or, or what she's talking about it was about ear things you put in your ear so you don't hear things but uh, dress appropriately uh, when I, uh, when you go dancing, don't go dancing. If you want to dance, find a boy that you like and dance here in your own room. Where you're not going to get him to uh, get into a fight with another man. Uh, get into a traffic accident because it's at night. Don't go out on New Year's. I already, especially if you live in Miami or some other big city. I've already been stuck in traffic on a bridge with my friend that said oh let's go to this party over there and we were just stuck in traffic so many cars uh, don't waste your time you say well what fun is there in life there is a lot of fun daughter for me in being a, a family type person However, 
I'll, I'll even recommend it to you live alone with your kids you know uh, because men they don't know how to take care of kids like if they're like one year old or things like that uh, forgive me daughter for dropping you uh, my stepdad came over brought some movies you were on my chest I was on the sofa and you fell to the floor because I was watching a movie that's the last movie I saw daughter I have not been watching any movies now these movies that I watch now here and there those uh, I'm not uh, babysitting all right but now uh, you hit yourself in the cement you know it was my fault uh, put an ice cube on the kid's head but prevent it prevent it what did Glenn W Turner do he put a carpet all over the uh, the house when the baby had gotten injured that way but even better than that take care of your own kids you know don't pay a babysitter uh, you have to be tough with the kid you know uh, don't cook while you're holding the baby put the baby in the baby bouncing thing on the floor not on the table on the floor they have batteries and they bounce or you don't even need the batteries just put them there and or put them in a playpen once he's able to stand up I think or maybe even younger but I don't know a playpen and the playpen is only for a, a certain amount of time because then later on they they walk they they can walk over and, and tip over the playpen right and just keep an eye on your kids now what can I tell you I was thinking right now that if you have them back to back like a one-year-old and then another one month old that's a lot of stress I would space them out maybe two years uh, there was this guy the first family of surfing and he had nine kids with this second wife of his because the first wife got to keep the first kids right the first two kids he had so he was a doctor and then he uh, married another girl a Mexican girl had nine kids with her I think or maybe it was seven and they all became champions in surfing well he said that a gorilla breastfeeds their baby for two years that's not a bad idea all right breastfeed your children read to them never yell at a man all right your husband your, your boyfriend whatever it is never yell at him you you've seen the life your mother has had she cuts her own grass she's the one that goes to work um, she's the one that cooks cleans and, and washes clothes uh, she's the one that goes shopping for groceries she does everything daughter because she's disrespected me all right never disrespect your man if he wants to name the baby something at least listen to him persuade each other but don't say no I'm not I don't care what you want and walk away from him all right don't do that stuff when you have a hundred thousand dollars and he says well let's talk about what we're gonna do and don't say right off the bat no I don't care what you say I'm going to do this and this and this and that I mean that's that's why this family has had uh, problems for seven years now we're entering the new seven years all right you can look at your life every seven years and, and I mean look at it every every month or so figure out if you're on schedule doing what you're supposed to be doing if you go to a college find out if you're learning anything you could tell them because a lot of these colleges they charge you the money 
and then they have teachers that go like this and they've memorized the books they just go blah, 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 and they don't teach you anything because they're not teachers they can't teach a real teacher I've had some real teachers they explain things to you um, if you don't get it the first time they help you get it the next time they encourage you they say yes you can do it all right I had a teacher say well if you thought the introduction to computers course was so difficult there's no way you're gonna pass my web web desk design or my uh, desktop publishing course you can't pass it that's discouraging whereas Some other teachers, like I learned Tai Chi Chuan, and I didn't even know what I was doing, you know? Uh, there are two ways to learn Tai Chi Chuan. One is with applications, which I love because now you know why you're holding the hand like this, like this, or at this angle, and you know that you're moving it with the hip. If the hand does not move, it's the hip that moves right I'm moving the shoulders now because I'm in bed but you need to learn from the experts that's one one of these videos I saw learn from the experts learn from the experts another thing avoid negative people places and things avoid What else can I tell you? Uh, have ten thousand dollars, all right? As just be that type of person. I got up as high as probably a hundred dollars, maybe two hundred, no, three hundred. I've had up to three hundred actually four or five hundred I've had up to five hundred dollars that I didn't have to spend you know it's just I made it up to that high as a security guard uh, whenever you loan people money consider it a gift because most people cannot pay you back all right one time I showed up at work at the new job and the guy that was there he says but you're here and I'm here and then he gets a phone call that I'm supposed to stay and he is supposed to leave that was the manager or somebody in the building the president or somebody in the association that had got him out of there in the board of directors and so there he was sitting down he's a 50 to 60 year old man and he was what do I do I don't have a car I got here on the bus uh, and so he's sitting down he doesn't know so eventually what ended up happening is he lost his apartment his wife and son had nowhere to live so I brought him home to us I asked the spouse she said of course how can you know this family be homeless and all that but I felt bad for him because I was the one that was hired to take his job and then he had no job what else happened uh, then I loaned him some money but he told me not to tell his wife and I loaned him three hundred dollars so he could put everything that he had in storage but then he didn't have the money to pay me back and then of course what happened was his wife and your mother got into an argument and so they moved on and uh, uh, your mother did say that that man worked so hard he has two jobs he doesn't sleep 
And this woman, when he comes home, asks him to go with her to the grocery store. Why doesn't she go? She's by herself all day. She's here with me. And the grocery store is how many blocks away? Five blocks? That's not far. Less than five blocks. So, that woman was inconsiderate of this man. And all he said was, what happened is that he married somebody that was that her family had more money than 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 he had or his family and so that's why she was so high up now they call them high maintenance high maintenance women All right, so if you want your man to respect you, respect him. If you want him to love you, which is what the Bible says, respect him. It doesn't mean you have to name the baby after what he says, but both of you need to negotiate these things. I've had a, my mother's next door neighbor in an apartment used to cut paint and cut nails or something and hair. A beautician right and she said I met her when she only had one child was four years old and then I found out that she was having another child I said oh wow I didn't know you had a boyfriend and then she said uh, she was divorced and then she says no I had it with in vitro artificial insemination well not artificial but uh, or maybe it is artificial insemination she had some term and what she did was she said, I don't want to deal with a man. This way, what I say is what that son, that child does. And she was happy because the boy was, well, she lived there for a couple of years, right? Uh, the boy be became a boy that had blonde hair and everything. But I just don't understand. Such a beautiful looking girl that didn't want to deal with court cases and deal with a man and so she chose to just have another child all by herself so the world is changing <sighs> be a good person all right don't be like other people read the ninth com the bible read the bible and the ninth the ten commandments especially number nine all right Uh, by the way, I'm not even mentally ill, in case some people think about that. It's just that I have a different opinion, because I see things in a different way. Like, I read the book by Mario Puzo, and he mentioned in it, he wrote The Godfather and the mafia-type mo mafia movies that were made out of it. Italian mafia. And in that book, I read about how food stamps, the government gives food stamps so that there won't be a revolution and so everybody's the money trail follow the money trail and you will know many things the money trail is money goes after money right um, for instance if I was a working husband that earned at least a thousand dollars a month around here that's you need two thousand to be happy or not to be happy happiness is a choice but you need two thousand to live comfortably but with a thousand dollars a month if I was one of those men this spouse would not bake your me in the sense that that's my opinion because one of the child care mothers remember how her husband she put her husband in jail for I don't know if he hit her but then she said the food stamp doesn't doesn't cover enough and they're putting him in jail for child support and he's a mechanic he makes more money working than uh, 
than uh, be than when he's in jail. So she went and she changed her, she dropped her charges against him because she said it's better for him to be at work than to be than to be having to go to court so often like I took her to court the day she went to drop charges and that guy was a jealous man he, he wanted to kick my ass or something um, but what happened was Uh, he never showed up. He never came to see me or anything. Uh, that's just what she said that he wanted to kick my ass. But what she ended up doing is she went to another another city far away, two uh, two hours away, so she doesn't have to deal with that going to court and everything. Nah, she already got three, the custody of the three kids, so she's happy in another city. Um. And he can go see the kids or, or she can bring the kids over or whatever happens, you know, for the summers or something. Whoever, you know, court cases. All right, so the best advice for you is start practicing Tai Chi Chuan and self-defense. I do love you. You won't have me forever now. One day I'll be dead. And so you need to get to know me. Uh, right now, all you know is that I spend all my time in this room because if I go over there, I say something, uh, I tell you to stop watching internet, then the mother says I'm trying to control everybody, so I just get back over here. All right? Watch out if you ever go to Honduras, all right? I'm telling you, you better learn how to fight. And also over there, don't expect men to to be polite to you. All right? Over there, it's survival of the fittest. It's a very tough environment. Uh, watch all of my the rest of the videos. That's why I'm making all these videos. So eventually, one day, you will find them. Uh, I've got lots of good advice for you, daughter. Learn to fight. Definitely. I mean, if one day you're going to have kids, right? God willing, if you want them. And you're going to want to teach them something. What will you teach them? Those are the things you need to learn now. Money skills, your religion or whatever you believe in. And why not learn carpentry? What's wrong with that? Learning to fix lawnmowers? What's wrong with that? You know? Alright, I do love you. I give you a hug. Um, money, I will be rich. Richer than I am. However, right now I got other activities on my mind. Uh, some of them are money activities. So, uh, uh, now that I'm, I'm coming out of retirement here, out of my seven years without working, I've got I've got big plans, and I'm backing them up, as you will see. All right, enjoy your life. Be better than I am. Supervise your children. One word. Supervise. Supervise your children. Thank you. Uh, yes, I know you get excellent grades in school. However, I used to get excellent grades. It has nothing to do with what you're going to achieve in your life. What I'd rather you have is carpentry skills, plumbing skills, lawnmower repair skills, memory or phenomenal memory memorizing techniques you see right now you're running with people that well I know some of them are way more intelligent than 
than uh, regular humans. However, even if you run with, with those, you're going to eventually find out about Singapore math and and the children, the, the Asians, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Koreans, the Singaporeans, whatever their title is, you're going to find out. These kids, they haul ass. They move fast. They read books. Uh, perhaps they're at a thousand words per minute. They move their eyes quickly. They, they use computer software so they can read a book and retain it. Um, I spent my time playing around, daughter. I was in cross country, right, in high school, and I ran and ran and ran and ran, and for what? You know, all I got was an injured knee. Instead of spending my time on that, run around for 15 minutes. That's enough and start your family which one of the cross-country runners did he had a baby when he was a senior and he had to quit cross-country uh, what else happened he had to work but what I'm getting at is learn money skills now learn carpentry now it will go so far beyond I remember my neighbors in Chicago, his mother was, uh, she put her own cabinets in her kitchen. The dad, he was a mechanic, could fix cars. The boy could fix transmissions and paint cars. You need to be skilled, all right? After you get the carpentry skills those are just for you and if you're a professional at it then you could get paid and you could fix I mean you see this roof is leaking I mean you could fix this or at least you'll know how to do it and with those skills then you can pay for your college education all right if you want to be a doctor it takes money to be a doctor <sighs> be better than I am bye for now build the doghouse you're gonna to need to build one if you have boys or even if you have girls doll houses or even if not whatever you need to build your children will need to Learn from you. Be better than I am, daughter. I love you.